Hi everyone, just doing a quick live video tonight. Hi everyone who's joined me so far. Hi Tara, how are you today? You have to bear with me with this because I'm doing it on my um, mobile phone. So when you do write a message, it does pop up on my screen. So I just thought I'd pop on and just talk a little bit about why I've been a little bit quiet. Just before Christmas, I think it was uh, 16th of November, we were burgled and it kind of just put me off doing anything at all. Um, I pack up for Christmas anyway, so I decided that was it. I was done. Um, getting back into the swing of things after Christmas, I kind of lost my bojo a little bit. I decided to paint some um, point shoes instead, which I have here. And painting point shoes you might have seen those pop up on um, my instagram and my facebook group so kind of still keeping the creativity going but sort of lost it a little bit in terms of doing the bows um, and then recently i decided to book in some craft fairs this year and one of them is going to be happening the week after Easter at a local comic con. So I have been getting my bojo back, making some of these, which you might have seen on Instagram. I've got this one ready to go. Anyone can tell me what that one is. I've got this one ready to go. Some of these you'll have seen in my inspired tutorials. I have this one. If you recognise any of them, just pop it in the chat box. This one, that's a fairly new one, but that's going to have something on there. If you know what that one is, bonus points to you. Um, what else have I done today? You might have noticed this one on my Instagram, if you follow me on there. This one is done with velvet instead of glitter. I've also been designing these, seeing as though it is a Comic Con and a Gamer Fair. I love these retro controllers. This is a new one, bonus points if you know what this one is. But yeah, making all these is sort of helping me get back into the swing of things. I've done five of each of these bows, so I've sort of, I'll show you my little setup here. I've got five of each of these ready. I'm just waiting some of the felties to stick on there, which I'm just ordering in a minute. But yeah, I thought I'd just pop on, speak to you guys. I've also been full of uh cold possibly even flu it was that bad um but my throat throat's a little bit sore at the minute thanks tara throat's a little bit sore at the minute so i'm still recovering from um a cold my daughter got tonsillitis a couple of weeks ago she's just finished her medicine and i feel like i'm getting something but i don't like making uh, videos when my voice is all croaking I'm coughing all the time <laughs> all the time <coughs> <coughs> ah you knew what it was raising children and chickens yes you've got it I'm just trying to find something to go on top of those bows to make it a little bit more extra special been trying to find a little stranger things logo or anything that can fit on there at least <coughs> you know what they are like that anyway, I've got five of those. So if I don't find anything, at least I know people know what they are. So I've also got 
these two felties. Now I, I did make some um, bun wraps using these, um, but they weren't as popular as I thought they were gonna be. So I saved these two felties. And now I need to find where I've put my feathers, but I'm gonna make some swan bows using some of this. Yeah, waffles. I was looking for some egos or some waffles or something, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna use these two, this white glitter fabric and this gold glitter fabric, along with these swans. Um, and I've got some white feathers upstairs I'm gonna make a bow with. And I'm just contemplating, I've literally, this is my last piece of this fabric. And I use this fabric for two different bows. I use it for, let's see if I've got one. I use it for my magic carpet bows for the middle layer. Is that upside down? So yeah, it's upside down. Magic carpet bow. This is from um, meant to be reimagined from the 2019 movie. And I also use it for my. I've got a bag here full of bows. Let me just check. Is that one? Yes. I also use it for the middle layer of my 2019 Jasmine bow. So I need to make some more of those for the Comic Con. Um, but this is my last piece, which I can literally make three more bows from. So I've got to decide if I want to make more jasmines or more carpets. And at the minute I'm going more towards two more carpets and one more jasmine, because I have one carpet ready made and two jasmines made. So I'm thinking two carpets, one jasmine. And I've also got a bun wrap to make for someone. If anyone's got any questions about anything, you can ask on this live stream. Might as well do a question and answer. I can only see comments as they pop up though. I haven't got sort of a live feed of them. So if anyone wants to ask anything, just go ahead. I'll see if I can answer. It is getting quite late here though. It's uh, nearly quarter to 11 at night. So I won't be on for long tonight. But yeah, I'm um, I'm just working out what I'm gonna be making. I'm gonna make some. I've got lots of craft fairs coming up. I'm concentrating at the minute on the Comic Con. <sighs> craft fairs are so easy. It's literally just putting your stuff on a table and people coming to buy it off you. That it's not scary. Um, I suppose the scariest thing is are people want to gonna want to buy your bows? But if they buy them off you online, then why not at a craft fair? You, I find I get a lot more different people buying at craft fairs than um, they do online. People who wouldn't really look for you online would buy off a craft fair. You don't have to say anything to anyone. Just put a smile on your face. They will come over to you. If they want to buy it, they'll buy it. Don't put any pressure on anyone to buy. I sometimes make conversation if um, I feel the mood takes it, but you don't have to. Talk to them if they ask you a question. Just want to show you these. I've got these lovely fabrics from um, Pixie Dot. She sent me these in my <coughs> order, <coughs> along with one of the little scrap pack, um, the sort of little mini um, templates for scraps. So there's um, a tiny bow. This here turns into a tiny bow and the tails for it are here. There's a small um, flower, a butterfly. I'll do a, tu not a tutorial, a video on these in a future video. I've got loads planned. I've got loads of stuff planned. I'm just waiting, literally waiting for my cold to go so I can do a proper video without interrupting with a cough all the time. But yeah, aren't these really pretty for spring? There's this one, which is like a gingham, pale pink gingham. And then there's the pale pink stripe. 
and then there's these two they are different there's two slightly different rose fabrics are they different are they the same they're slightly different one's got a pink polka dot background which is that don't know if you can see that on there and one is a white background with very similar flowers on this seems to be a bigger print but i think they are going to look super cute for summer but i might use those with the scrap templates trying to make some pretty bows with but they're in my pink drawer and i'm just popping some pink away also got some more of the it's advertised as christmas fabric but even though it has fairy lights on it it has the letters on it so that to me is stranger things you don't have letters on the fairy lights at christmas so that's a tip if you're looking for that on that's from aliexpress can't remember what store it's from but um yeah if you're looking for stranger things fabric look in their christmas categories I have also got some, I was looking for some fur earlier. I've had a lot of people asking me about fur bows lately on the, um, I did a tutorial on them, I think last year, maybe the year before. Um, I have a drawer full of fur fabric and I will be making more fur bows. Um, they're just a little bit itchy at the minute with me being full of cold and my nose itching anyway. I don't want to be cutting up this fur. <coughs> I've got some I was looking for some white fur actually because I was going to do a King Triton um, bow and obviously he's got a big beard so I was going to use fur and I was also going to do it as um, a rabbit for Easter but I've got this rainbow fur you see that it's like a tie-dye um, and I've also got this fur it's really, it's it's like a proper fabric, this fur. So it's really strange to work with. And obviously there is a, um, a way that the fur lies. So this fur lies downwards. So if you cut it a certain way, you can't... <coughs> <coughs> the fur will only go one way. So you need to be mindful on how you cut that. I've got it in purple. And I've got it in grey. I don't have any white. That's a really nice grey. So yeah, I was going to check and see if I had white to do a King Triton, which I don't. So I need to purchase some white fur. Unless I have like, no marabou feathers, wouldn't you? Any white fur. Oh, I'm getting in my mouth already. What's this one? <coughs> And that's like a tie-dye fabric as well. Sometimes slippers are made with this on. I've got some unicorn slippers that are made from the same fabric. So yeah, anyone got any questions they want to ask? I'm actually waiting for my glue gun to heat up so I can start making a... Um, bun wrap been asked for a blue and cream bun wrap but i'm not too sure are these cream would you say these look like cream that's a baby blue and cream bun wrap it's match a tutu a little bit of pink and gold i think which I was going to use pink and gold rhinestones for if i can find some pink and gold rhinestones I really want to use these on a bow, but they're a little bit too big. To see if I can get some rhinestones from somewhere. I've usually got, I've got all sorts of bits. I've got these coins. This was a coin trim for the jasmine bows. I've been cutting out, don't know if you can see in there, I've been cutting out little Harry Potter lightning bolts too. Ugh. 
But yeah, I've been working on literally instead of doing um bows and things, I've been doing everything I can except for bows because I sort of lost fell out of love with them for a little bit. Um I've been working on bun wraps, which is in this tray. And as I said before, the point shoes. I get the point shoes out anyway. Um, does anyone else work on anything other than bows? I think I have lots of different projects going on at the same time. So I like doing this. This is very therapeutic for me. I get to actually paint the shoe. Well, it still smells of paint as well. So this was a brand new point shoe. It wasn't second hand, it was brand new. And I decided I wanted to have a go with my acrylic paint of um, painting it. As you can see, it's all sparkly there as well. My kitchen lights where I'm sat at the minute are really good for making things sparkle. But what I did is I painted it sort of an ombre effect. So it's light blue and turquoise faded into each other with the purple bottom. Um, and then I've coated it in a Mod Podge, but it's a glitter. And then I did some mermaid scales hand painted on there that'll focus and then added lots of rhinestone bling this row is so that it stands up on its own because it does actually stand up on its own tara does sewing and makes the girls some new outfits i used to do sewing until my sewing machine broke and then i went on to painting wooden items and then i went on to making bows but i do like sewing um, I made my daughter quite a lot of things uh, when she was a baby. A couple of dresses, um, decor for a bedroom, pillows, um, those little stuffed hearts that are chained together and you hang them up. Lots of things like that. But yeah, these are very, very therapeutic. It's easy to get carried away with them, but there's detail everywhere. Even in the flowers, even inside. There's this trail of gems on the inside that goes up here too. And right inside there, it has clay to weigh it down. So it stands up on its own. I made this one last year, early last year, late the year before. But I also decided to put some clay in this one as well and weight it. And I've also altered the end there. You can see that it's got a row of backwards rhinestones. That also makes that freestanding. And then the last one that I made was this one, which is a nutcracker um, inspired point shoe. And when I painted the laces, laces the ribbons they actually went stiff in the right position so when it stands up they're in a nice position but this has also got all the details so he's got gemstones on his hat and these are white gemstones and then inside the actual shoe there's gold gemstones so much detail on this shoe but i managed to paint it it is a white it's got a little bit of blue on that from the other shoe That'll come straight off. That's it. I managed to paint this shoe using emulsion, red emulsion paint, and then coated it with Mod Podge. And the finish is actually really good. But yeah, I love painting but not pictures. I like painting things like this. That is also there to help it be freestanding. Stands on uh, the edge there. Hi, Joanne. So yeah, point shoes that I did. I'll show you those while they're there. All freestanding. Oh. There we go. Because I lost my bojo, not a bad thing to um, to do instead though, I don't think. 
like I say, I've got it back now. I'm back onto Etsy. I'm back onto Facebook. And when my throat is completely better, because the more I talk, the drier it gets, um, I will make more tutorials and also more parts of the um, how to start your own bow business um, series that I started. I've only done about me in part one and part two, so I've got sort of nine or ten parts of that that I want to film. <coughs> and I've had a few people asking me um, when I'll be filming the rest of those. So when my throat's better, I'll be filming more of those. But until then, I am making lots of bows for the upcoming Comic Con. Just gonna go grab a drink. So yeah, I grabbed um, my daughter's iPad as well. I'm going to go on here because what happens is, what happens is oh, when I, when you comment on this note on this um, live feed because I'm on my phone, it um, only pops up for a few seconds. So if I'm not looking, it could pop up and I could miss something. So let's just have a look at the chat. Joanne, I haven't made anything for a few weeks and have definitely lost my bojo. This is what I'm saying with it. I, um, when I got burgled and then it was Christmas and I packed everything away, I just thought I'd, I was in such a low mood. I don't want to do it. Um, I've had enough for a while. So decided to do something else, which was paint the point shoes. Um, I made bun wraps instead. Um, put myself into a lot of paperwork for the business. So if you do have um, a bow business, let's see if I can get these to stay on. If you do have it as a business, there we go. You can um, use the time where you've lost your bojo to do all your paperwork. So I did part of my tax return, got all my receipts in order and everything. And um, and then I went through all the craft fairs that I need to do this year, contacted a lot of people and sorted all that out instead. Anything I needed to do that I didn't, didn't mean making bows, but like I say now, I'm made this basket full of bows. I am waiting for the felties to come to finish those. And that's just this week, the past um, few days. I've got a carrier bag full of bows that are already made, that are completely finished and not waiting for anything else. So, get on with anything else that you can. That means you don't have to do the bows um because you don't want to be sick of it i made 12 bows to raise funds for my church sold nine so must make more that's a great idea brilliant fundraiser well done nanny mckinney i order all my materials from aliexpress but with the coronavirus i'm a bit skeptical what do you think I've ordered loads from AliExpress. Um, they had their Chinese New Year shut down in February, beginning of February. And they're meant to open up, um, was it end of January, beginning of February? And they were meant to open up back again um, a few weeks ago. But because of the coronavirus, um, they have been closed. I've had things that I've been waiting to ship for weeks. Um, and I've only just started to get shipment um, things. Now, from what I've heard on the news, 
Um, sorry, I'm just reading Joanna's message. That's a great idea. Have a go at felties. I know you have to buy the files for it, but always a good idea. If not, though, and anyone wants felties, pop over to Emma Jo Felties. I'll put that in the description when I've um, finished the live feed. That's where I get all my felties from. Like I say, I've got some of the... Just grabbing some. I've got things everywhere in here. I've got some of the swan felties there. I've also got this box, which is stuffed full of goodies. So I've got some little Simbas. I really want to make a bow for these to be on. I've got a Mad Hatter one that says I'm late. That's probably backwards on there. And I've also got, not a Mad Hatter, a White Rabbit. This is a Mad Hatter hat. And I bought this as a schoolgirl felty, uh, not a felty, female clay. But I'm thinking this might go with um, an Alice in Wonderland theme bow. So that might be coming up soon. I've also got a pizza slice, so I might do a um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Shuttle. A backwards Andy foot. So this is me. Chop hats. Some come alive, stars, and a million dreams. I'm also waiting on a big order to come and I am making a big order for all these bows that I'm making as well. But yeah, um, what was I saying about? Let's read some of your messages. I don't know more have been said. Okay, coronavirus, yeah. From what I heard on the news, coronavirus only lasts up to 10 days. Don't quote me on that, but that is what I believe um, is how it works. Um, I don't think it lasts on surfaces. It's through bodily fluid contact. People have coughed and spluttered on things. Like I say, it can only last up to 10 days and things from China take up to three weeks to come. So no, I'm not worried about things coming from China. Um, so recently, actually, I think it was yesterday, two people from the... Um, you don't have to dettle everything. The virus doesn't last on fabrics and surfaces. But yeah, recently, uh, yesterday, two people who were on the Japanese cruise ship um, were brought into quarantine to a hospital about i can't remember how many miles away it is it's about half an hour drive 20 minute drive away from me um in sheffield i'm not worried um people are joking but as soon as you have a cough and a splutter and a cold oh you've got coronavirus it, they're making it out to be a massive thing in china because so many people have got it but you've got to think of the population of china it's huge so the percentage of people who've got it compared to their population is not much. Um, I'm not worried. I'm just not worried. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't be worried about it, Joanne. Um, I just don't think it's something to be worried about, um, especially not from things from China. Um, if you are worried, spray them if you want to. Um, I know some suppliers do um, wash their fabrics before they sell them to you, but not the Chinese ones. That's people who get them from China and then sell them on. But no, I'm not worried at all. I can't wait for things to come. Um, I've ordered my daughter some dancing stuff from AliExpress. Can't wait for that to come. Yeah, exactly. In the make a big deal of scaremongering, I don't think it's anything bad. I'm not worried. One little bit. Things from China, um, they've been waiting to be shipped for two or three weeks. They're going to take another three weeks to come. That's six weeks. Um, ten days I've been told that the virus lasts on things and it's through bodily fluid, coughing, sneezing, not just from touch or from in the air. It, it's not airborne, so I think you'll be fine. Um, let's see what someone else is saying. It's Shemaine. Hi, Shemaine. Um, I've lost my bojo too. I want to make some Easter bows, but not sure what to make. 
I don't make Easter bows. Last year I made a ton of, um, I don't know if you saw them last year, they were the boutique bows and I had bought the um, unicorn eggs from the pound shop and put them in the middle of the bows. I put some rhinestones on them, things like that. I um, didn't sell any, I think, well, I did. I made about 30 of the bows and I have about 20 of them left. I'm going to resell them this year. That's one thing about seasonal bows, Valentine's, Christmas, Easter. Whenever you make seasonal themed bows, I find they don't sell. Unless someone specifically asked you for them, I don't think they're going to sell. That's my experience of nearly nine years in selling bows. Unless someone specifically asks you to make them, people aren't interested. Um, and if it's the way I think about it, would I buy a bow to wear for one day? No, not unless I'm doing um, a specific event. Um, Christmas, yeah, because it's the whole of December. It's the run up to Christmas. You can wear them again the next year. Valentine's and things like that. I don't think Halloween out like that. People don't seem to want them. Easter. Um, but what I do say is if you do make bows and they don't sell, just store them for the next year. Um, requests are all right if you have the fabrics in already or if you can sell the bows um, at enough money to cover the cost of buying the materials for the, that specific order. So I had one person ask me for Valentine's Day bows. I can make a pink bow, I can make a red bow, I can cut out a heart. But if you want something specific with a specific pattern on it, I'm going to have to charge you for it. They won't, they don't pay it. They're not going to pay that just to wear a bow for one day. So I don't, I don't do theme bows. I stick to um, springtime, so flowers, things like that. Summertime, bright colours. Neon colours are, are always good in the summer. Christmas. I do make Christmas bows, a lot of Christmas bows, but I do a lot of Christmas fairs where I know they're going to sell. Um, autumn bows, you can do autumn colours. Um, I just tend to look at what trends are around, what colours. At the moment, I don't know if I've got them here. I think I might have. Um, gold, blush pink and grey seem to be a good combination. So I've made a gold, blush pink and grey bow. Um, geometrics in at the minute. I haven't got any geometric fabric, but I am looking for some. The good old mermaid bow. Always a good seller. I have nine of those at the moment. Um, what else? Princesses, always a good seller. Unicorns, flamingos, llamas, sloths. Sorry, something just fell down there. Let's just pick it up. Yeah, so just look at current trends, see if it's worth your while in money. If it's not, it's not worth risking the sale, um, not worth spending your money on fabrics that you're going to be left with things. I've made that mistake plenty of times, so I just don't make them now. Um, all things Serena, I just cannot make boutique bows, watched your videos over and over again, but I've now given in. Some people can, some people can't. It took me four years to perfect it, maybe longer. Um, I'd say don't keep doing it to the point where you're frustrated. Um, put it down like you probably have done. Try again another time. Try another tutorial. My way might not be the way that sinks into your head for you to do it. There's a figure of eight style. There's reverse boutiques. There's all sorts of different ways to do a boutique bow. You can also get templates that help you do the folds. So maybe that might be the way for you. Um, but just some people can and some people can't. It's it's just whether it's worth 
carrying on and giving it a try. Um, I was asked to make five small boutique bows last week for a dance school and I sat down because I have a template one um, it's got written on it because I always forget what size ribbon should be for what size bow so this is 30 inch of ribbon for a four inch bow and it's one and a half inch wide so what I do is I get this ribbon and I try over and over again with this practice ribbon and it's a right mess this ribbon it's got glue on it and all sorts but I just try and try and try I've done it first time not perfect but I literally just sit and play with it and play with it and play with it and I don't do them perfect every time this isn't perfect this loop is massive, this loop's tiny, so I would redo that one. But literally just sit and play. But like I say, this ribbon has got folds. It's covered in glue. But it is my practice piece. And I keep hold of it. And I have one in all the different size bows that I do. And I sit and I just play with it. Just practice. Don't let it get frustrated though, because if you get frustrated with it, you're not going to want to do it, so stop. Um, it doesn't seem to be showing the chat. My loops always look wrong. It, it, it's simply practice. Yeah, it's it's a good idea. Sat watching TV, you don't know what to do with yourself. Get your piece of ribbon out and practice. You don't have to fasten it. You can put some cotton around it if you want to try perfect it. But it's just practice, so just practice doing the loops over and over again. And then you just, it, it becomes muscle memory and you can just do it. But like I say, it's taken me, it, I didn't do it overnight. It, I didn't watch a tutorial and do it. Um, I did watch a tutorial and do it, but I didn't watch a tutorial and get it straight away. It took me forever. Just trying and trying and trying. So yeah, it's the best thing I can think of. I've literally just got little pieces of ribbon in the sizes that I need. And just play with them it's the only way to do it just i find the best way to do it i watch a tutorial and then practice 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 has anyone seen the shell bow I haven't got a picture of it it's on my phone that i'm recording with so i can't show you it but i was going to do a tutorial on the shell bow um wondered if anyone else had seen it and if you wanted me to do a tutorial on it I mean, it's more like a, um, I think they're called Kanzashi bow, where you make each loop of it individually and then you sew them together. Yeah, I think it's quite a new thing and it's it's made with gross grain ribbon. I think, I can't remember if it's one and a half or two inch. I did save the video so I could watch it in depth and recreate it but yeah i'll um i'll give that a go like i say when when my throat's feeling a little bit better but right now i think unless everyone's got um any questions about anything i'm just gonna have a go at making a blue and cream bun wrap. Do these look cream? They'd look cream if they look yellow. They're probably not as bright as that ones in real life. Yeah, I think I think the cream. I want to go without the cream. It's for an Etsy order, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make the bun wrap 
Um, she's not ordered it yet. She just asked if I have anything to match. Now, usually I would give ideas and say I can make it pay, please. But as I know bum wraps sell, they're really popular for me. Uh, my daughter is a dancer at a dance school and I attend a lot of competitions and I sneakily or cheekily take a tray of bun wraps with me to competitions um, and I get a few orders that way. Gets my name out to other dance schools as well. Um, but on our circuit, quite a lot of people know that I make bows. I make all of my daughters. Yeah, I make all of my daughters... Um, hair pieces, hair bows, anything to match the costumes. I don't know if you saw on Instagram or on the page um, last week, a bright pink, quite a large bright pink bow to match a costume. That was my daughter's song and dance costume. Um, I made that one. But yeah, I know that these um, bun wraps sell. So I don't mind making one, seeing if the customer likes it. If she doesn't, try again. I can always sell this on. If she does, bonus, don't have to make another one. But yeah, she showed me a picture of the tutu. And the tutu is a cream bodice with pale blue appliques all over it. And then there is a little bit of gold and a little bit of pink. So what I was doing is using a blue satin ribbon. I've got my mulberry flowers. I'm going to do some baby blue ones, those cream ones that I've just shown you, and then some rhinestones. But these baby blue flowers are twice the size of the cream ones, so I'm going to have to do one baby blue with two cream next to it to make it look even. I've got to trim all the metal stems off the mulberry mulberry flowers. I don't know why they're called mulberry. Anyone know why they're called mulberry flowers? Is the paper mulberry paper? Works, yeah. I don't know how much they are in the works. Um, a pack of these, which has um, 122. Well, it's got 36 pieces in it. I thought it was about a pound for 36 pieces. Um, I've got this was a bigger bag with about it was like this size, and there's yeah about 122 in there, um, and I think it's about three pounds. But they're from AliExpress. And if someone says to me tomorrow, "Can you make me a bow with? Uh, can you make me a bum wrap with this colour um, flower on it?" I've got a few basic colours, but if they ask for something I haven't got. Um, I haven't got anywhere to buy them from other than China. And there are some shops online that sell them, but they're like 20, 30 pence per flower. And I can get 122 for three pounds, less than three pounds. So I don't like paying it because it puts the price of their item up as well. So I won't take the hit just for one colour. Right, let's see. Hmm. The paper's called Mulberry, is it? I don't know these things. I just love Mulberry flowers. Right. We might do that. I'll show you it in a minute when I'm done. I'm done with this. Ten for one pound fifty in the works. Hmm. It's not bad if you're desperate. Okay, I think that's gonna work. Let me glue them down. I need some baby pink and some gold rhinestones, which I don't know if I have. Might have some tiny ones. 
It's a bit awkward. At my, I'm sat at my dining room table at the minute because I'm trying to get myself out of my living room. My living room is nice and tidy. <laughs> yeah, but it's booking. It's the start of a new one. It's not gone into it yet. Let me see if I can take it out. No, I can't take it out, it's, it's going to cut it, but if you can see, I've not started the glue stick yet, the old one's just finishing, so yeah, it is quite huge, I think it's a 30 centimetre glue stick, the cheaper, the great. You don't realise how they are, how big they are until you actually start a new, a new one, but yeah, um, I'm in my kitchen at the moment because I don't want to mess up my nice living room but it means because I'm sat on this side of the table the um I'm right handed but the plug socket is on the left hand side so unless I want the cable to go over my knee it's on the wrong side of me I mean I don't have a problem with people are saying they're having a problem with the Bosch glue stick leaking but uh, glue leak in here. Mine doesn't. I get a lot of stringy bits on the stand of it, but it sometimes has a little dribble on the end, but I don't have a leaky glue gun. Makes me think the seal wasn't put on right in the inside, because it doesn't actually tell you in the instructions when you get it. Um, which way round or where to put the little round metal, uh, round metal bit. I guess I uh, winged it and put it on right. Put this on, I might need a few more cream ones actually, it might be too blue. Let's see. I actually have no idea in my head for this. This is what I've gone for so far. Might be too much blue. Could do a few different versions for it. One more of these. Has anyone else made bun wraps yet? Mine did when I first got it, but I tightened it up and then it was fine, yeah. I think people are scared of um, over tightening it, but it has to be on real tight. So as long as you don't tighten it and crack it, you should be fine to tighten it up as much as it'll go. So yeah, has anyone else had a go at making bun wraps? Has anyone else got a niche of, um, mine is school bows, um, dance school bows. Has anyone else found anywhere like that to get the bows into? Day my daughter awake then. She hasn't gone back to school yet, she goes back tomorrow and she's finding it tough to go sleep. And she's in the room directly above. Could have been the neighbours next door though. <clears throat> okay, so this is what I've got now, those blue ones on the end. Not yet, I'd like to give them a go for my girls though. Yeah, um, I'd say if if you wear your hair, not with a donut, but a classical bun, where you just put your hair in a ponytail, I usually split the ponytail in two, wrap it like sort of wind it round each other and then wrap it round and then we put a bun net on and pin it and then wrap the bun wrap round 
it looks really good. My two went back today, thank God. <laughs> I actually love having um, Ellie at home with me on holidays. She's not too much trouble at all. She doesn't want for anything. She's so into TikTok at the minute, so you just leave her to it on TikTok. And then she's like, Mom, can I post this? Can you have a look? That's the most I get out of her. Is this okay to post on my TikTok? And obviously we've had dance competitions this week. I say obviously, you might not know. But she's um, had dance competitions this week. She did very well. She came runner-up in her age group overall for the whole competition. First time out with a new song and dance with the special bow that I made her. And she won. She came first. And I was worrying so much about that dance. But yeah, I'll be like lost without my little sidekick tomorrow. But don't tell her that. Okay. Need some rhinestones. One of my storage boxes. Really useful box. I've got a stack of six. Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six. Must be some more upstairs. And this one is full of embellishments and uh, key ring pulls for a project coming up soon. May or may not share that with you. She actually, she won um, a trophy on Friday at the presentation. But the thing that she was looking forward to the most was she's just been um, prescribed some glasses. And she's just so looking forward. Well, she got them yesterday, actually, her new glasses. She's just looking forward to going to school and telling all her friends she's got glasses. Because for some reason, it's a big thing and she loves it. Wasn't a big thing for me when I was younger. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, she's got glasses to take to school tomorrow. She's so happy about it. Okay. So what I'm doing here, you probably can't see, so I'll bring you down here and show you. I've got this bag of mixed rhinestones <coughs> and what I have to do, I can see some that I need there actually. Pour them out, I've got my rhinestone picker, literally, I need to go through these and pick out some baby pink and some gold. Oh, there we go, bit of a messy desk. But yeah, pick out the baby pink and the gold. I hate my glasses too. I can't do anything in them. They slip off my nose constantly. I'm always having to push them up. I love swimming and I can't swim with glasses on. Got some contact lenses, but I don't like wearing them. So yeah. She loves them, or as of the past day and a half she's had them, she loves them. We'll give it a week. She's only meant to have them for reading. So we'll see how she goes. She's been told by the dentist as well that she's going to have to have um, braces when her teeth are all fully through. And she's really happy about that too. We'll see how that goes as well. Have you tried the hot gems? I've got one but not used it. Yeah, I do have a um, hot gem machine where you pick the gem up with the end and put it on and it melts it. Um, I don't find that I need to use them on bows because I use fabric glue on bows and this makes... Oh! Didn't want to stay in my hand. 
Um, this makes it waterproof as well, water resistant. So I find the hot fix ones sometimes come off. Um, I have rhinestoned costumes. Here's some banging. I can um, have rhinestone costumes with hot fix gems. Um, I've actually got a costume behind me hanging on the door. That I've done with hot fix. It's another thing that I do. So I've gemmed that. I've got to do this one to match because it is a duet. So I find that they're good on um, clothing, but not so good on bows. Can't be too precise and I don't want to burn the fabric. That's for a tap duet. For my daughter and a duet partner. They already have a costume, but I saw the dress and I've really liked it. It's a salsa dress and I thought it looked really cute. So bought them to see how they go. They've got a choice now for costumes. I think the banging I can hear is the wind. But I can't think what it's blowing. Can you hear the banging? Not doing it now. I hear the clock ticking. Only does it when the wind's there, so it must be the wind. It scares me because sometimes when I'm sat here in the kitchen at night, I mean it's my goodness, how long have I been on? An early an hour. It's half past eleven now, and sometimes the kettle, even though it's not on and it's not boiling. The switch on the kettle switches. I know sometimes my fridge makes a noise, but that's just the gas is selling. But yeah, when the kettle switches its switch, and I haven't boiled the kettle since three o'clock, so it can't be anything to do with that. It's freaky, especially half eleven at night. I can hear the TV's just switched itself off. I must have gone into standby mode. The heating's just gone off as well, so everything in the house has just gone completely quiet. Once when I was in bed, I put the light, the light turned on when I was asleep and I soon jumped out of bed. I don't think this house is haunted, but I watch a hell of a lot of, um, I wouldn't say haunted things, things about ghosts, ghost stories, most haunted. My ghost stories, what else? I watched on YouTube, I watched Nuke's Top 10 or Nuke's Top 5 and I also watch a channel called Slap Tam and Chills. I love anything like that, so I kind of scare myself, so any noise that I hear, I think... Oh, is that, could that be something I've seen on one of those videos? <coughs> but it is windy tonight, so the wind is blowing something outside and knocking it. I've got some um, wicker hearts on hanging from the hanging basket things out, outside the front door. Something in the wind is blowing that and it's hitting the wall. I'm all right hearing it at the minute as long as uh, as long as it stays outside. But it's a bit creepy sat in my kitchen. And all I've got company is the uh, you guys on here and the clock. <laughs> now the heating's gone off and the TV's just switched itself off in the living room.
So if you're wondering what I'm actually doing, I am going through this pile of gemstones and I'm picking out the baby pink and the gold because this bun wrap that I'm making, she has got a cream tutu. And I haven't got any cream ribbon, so I've had to use baby blue. Cream tutu with baby blue appliques. And then it has um, gold and pink rhinestones on it and detailing on it. And she's asked me to do a bun wrap to match it. So I'm just looking for some baby pink and some gold rhinestones. And I don't know if the ones I'm picking out, I think those three are purple. I've got some bright pink ones, but I'm struggling on baby pink. Honestly, I think those ones are purple. Isabella. Okay, Joanne, thanks for um, being on tonight and commenting. Hopefully, I'll have some new videos for you soon. Do you have a donation? I want to help these channel. Um, there is super chat if you want to give a super chat. It's a little S dollar sign in the chat. Where is everyone from tonight? If you're on and you're watching, let me know where you're from. I'm curious as to where my audience is at is from at half past eleven in the UK. So right now, I'm rhinestone in, and I'll show you in a sec. South Wales, Arshamane, I know where you're from. Ohio, cool. I love to visit America. Newcastle under Lyme. My cousin is actually getting married to a girl from Texas. Don't know which part of Texas. I know it's a huge state. Um, but we have been invited over to the wedding. And unfortunately, it's too expensive for me to even think about. Um, and then they are moving to San Francisco after the wedding. Thanks, Shemaine. I'll be back on the tutorials pretty soon, as soon as I've shifted this cold. But thank you for watching. Dana. Which one's Newcastle under Lyme? Where is it near? I don't know if this is turning out good. I'll show you in a minute and see what you guys think. Might put some baby blue gemstones on. Stoke on Trent, I thought so. Didn't want to make a fool of myself thinking it's the other Newcastle near Durham. But I knew it wasn't. Woo! -hoo. Okay, so I'm just sticking a couple more gems on this and I want to lift it up and see what you guys think to it. I just need one more baby blue gem. There. Might put more pink gems on it actually. Staffordshire, yeah, I've been down there. I'm from up in South Yorkshire. Has anyone ever been to South Yorkshire? Or Yorkshire in general? I'm 
Hmm. Hmm. I am making Dana a bun wrap, a ballet bun wrap for a little girl who has a new tutu that is cream with blue detail and it also has pink and gold rhinestones through it and I've been asked by someone on Etsy if I can make a bun wrap to match it and I'm just going to give it a go. Probably going to make her a couple of designs so she can choose from them. But I haven't got any cream ribbon, so I'm trying it on blue first. I'll show you what I'm doing. So I've done it on a blue ribbon. And I've put cream. I might have to bend it once it's dry. But um, blue and cream flowers. And then I have put blue, pink and gold rhinestones all over it. See what she thinks of that. And I'll make a different one tomorrow. Has anyone else got anything that they're working on? Maybe not right at this minute because it is really late and I didn't realise the time. Anyone else working late? Probably not if you were watching me. <laughs> it was a really impromptu video. I just thought to myself, I haven't been on YouTube for a few weeks. I haven't been making bows for a few weeks. I lost my bojo. But since booking into some, well, a Comic Con, which I've got coming up first. It's not really my sort of scene. I've never seen her bows like what I make being sold at a comic con um, but they decided that instead of having the main traders or as well as having the main um, trader tables in the main hall they're also having something called a troll market which is cheaper to stand it's still £30 which is more than what I usually spend but um, it's open to the general public of the leisure centre that the comic con is being held in as well as all the people that are going to the Comic Con. Um, so I can advertise to all my customers that I'm going to be there and they can come and see me and buy bows off me, as well as being at the Comic Con. And no one else sells what I sell there, so I don't know if that's good or bad. I have been attending Comic Cons for the past seven years. I've never seen anyone with a bow store like mine. Don't know if that's because people don't buy bows or if that's because no one's tried. But I'm gonna give it a go. So I got my bojo back by booking that and having to make some bows for it. So if you hadn't seen earlier, about an hour ago, an hour and a half ago, what 69 minutes ago, I showed off most of the bows that I've been making for Comic Con. Most of these I've done tutorials on already on the channel. So there's the cowgirl. I'm just waiting for the little cowgirl hat felty to go on those. There is the sheriff. I'm just waiting for his sheriff's badge. There is Harry Potter. I'm waiting for the nine and three quarter sign for that. There is also Dumbo. And I'm waiting for a little felty for that too. I've done some gamer bows, game control, retro game control bows. Which are pretty cute. I could do a tutorial on these if anyone wants them. Rose Safe, is that your say your name? Thanks for watching. Um, you didn't donate to the channel like you said you were going to, but thank you for watching anyway. Don't know what that was all about, but thanks for watching. I've got these, which are Stranger Things. And my personal favourites. This is so cool. And he's got his little tassels. I love my little magic carpet bow. Love it. 
think I've done a tutorial on this. I did a tutorial on me going to the shop and buying all the parts for this. Oh, so cute. I love him. I wonder if I could actually wear this bow. I do wear my own bows. I usually have a bun. And I put um, the bows around the bun. And this one that I made today. Oh, I love it. I've done a tutorial on this one before, but I use glitter. And I cannot for life me find a matching glitter to match the leatherette. But I did have this velvet. So I thought, hmm, that's quite pretty. I'll use that. It turned out really good. But yeah, there are tutorials for those already. So yeah, I've been getting my bojo back by making all the stock for the Comic Con that's coming up. I am also making, I've got a few Etsy orders to finish off. I've been waiting for some bits to come back, logos and things to finish those off. Um, if you didn't see earlier at the start, I've got some white. It's actually really nice light, it reflects really nice in this light. I've got some white glitter, some gold glitter, and some swans. And I'm going to make some swan bows. I will do a tutorial on the swan bows. I just need to go upstairs and fish out my um, feathers, white feathers. I use them on these bun mats. Swan, Swan Lake inspired bun maps. Um, so I need to find my feathers. I've got some big ones, I think, and I'm going to use them on a bow, a swan bow. So yeah, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching all my videos. Is it Dana? Am I saying it right, Dana? Not very good at pronunciations of names. Dana or Donna? Dana. Yeah, I've been asking people if they um, have any questions for anything, but I think people just like the sound of my voice tonight, <laughs> even though I don't, because it sounds weird, because I'm not very well. Dana, fantastic. <coughs> Thank you for watching all my videos. I know I seem to ramble sometimes, but it's a little bit weird talking to myself. I might look like I'm not looking at the camera, which is there. I'm looking at myself on the screen. <laughs> so yeah, before I go, I'm going to leave it one more minute maybe. Has anyone got any questions? Anyone struggling on anything? Anyone want to know where I get anything from? It bows for your granddaughter. That's fantastic. It's always good if you know someone who can make some bows. How do I store my bow inventory? Well, I do have these trays. I don't know if you can see it. These trays, I put bows, lay bows in these trays. This one's got bun wraps in. And bags. But I lay bows, I can do them too deep and I can either do three rows or I can do rows downwards but it's a breakfast tray that I bought from my local pound shop and they were on offer after Mother's Day so it might be worth checking I don't know if they've got anything like this in this year but um, they were down to 50 pence but when my mum went to get them for me some of them, a lot of them were broken and needed to be glued back together again. So they did like three for a pound, four for a pound. And I got about 10 of those trays and they stack together. I've got like these giant laundry bags and I stack them about eight high in the laundry bags in the trays and it keeps them flat. And I also, when I do my stalls, I just put those trays out on the stall. So... That's why I keep all my bows together. At the minute, some bows that I'm taking to a Comic Con, 
are just in a carrier bag. But that's just until I get my inventory together and then they will be going in trays to stop them being squashed. I also put them in these plastic bags. So mucky fingers. Can't ruin the more expensive ones because most of my bows, the small ones I do at £2, the large ones I do at £3. But things like this, this one's £4.50. And anything that's worth a little bit more, I put in these plastic bags. It's just a self-sealed cellophane bag. I think you get 100 for a pound. And um, they, I've got just a tub, just a plastic tub, bucket, I don't know what you call them. Um, and I just put them in rows in there. But yeah, a big giant laundry bags. They're all so easy to stack when they're in the trays. Um, the top one, I've got a piece of um, MDF that goes all along the top one so I can stack a bag on top. Uh, but they're just in big giant laundry bags in trays. You can also use the plastic hobby trays that the um, dividers come out of and put bows in there. But I find it, you can only fit about nine bows in each tray. I've got thousands of bows, so... I just find that I I can put them, I've got deeper baskets than those as well. I've got some wicker baskets um, that they can do three deep. And that's just literally how I store them. Stacked up in trays in laundry bags. I will do a video one day on um, setting up my stall, packing away my stall, and you will see how I do it there. Um, but I need someone with me when I'm setting up so I can record and they can watch everything at the same time. So until I do a store where someone's with me, helping me, um, I can't record it. So it will be a video this year. I just don't know when I'm going to get a chance to record it. Has anyone else got any questions before I leave? I'm going to go to bed. Tired. My throat is starting to hurt. If not, I think I'm going to say good night to you all. Thank you for watching. I've been on longer than I intended to be. It's been nearly eighty minutes. Could make it ninety minutes if you if anyone's got any questions. If not, I'm gonna I'm gonna pack up. Turn my glue gun off actually before I forget. I'm going to pack up and go. So yeah, to everyone who has um, been on tonight. Let's have a look. Who's been on? So shout out to Tara Ratcliffe. Raising Children and Chickens. Emma Archer, that is Emma over at um, Emma Jo Felties. I'm going to put a link to her shop in the description of this video. So if you want any Felties for your own bows, pop over there. It's the only person I'd use. Uh, who else has been on tonight? Joanne. Thank you for watching tonight, Joanne. Nanny McKinney. All Things Serena. Shemaine Hathaway. K Myers 64. I will get around to doing that seashell bow. The lady who does it puts them on headbands, but the back seems to be really messy. So I'm going to have to figure that out before I do a video. But yeah, we'll do that one. Uh, who else was on? Isabella R. Um... Row safe, safe. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. And Dana Plumridge. Thank you everyone for commenting. Everyone else who watched as well. I know people do watch and don't comment because either they're not signed into YouTube or you're just a little bit shy to comment. Um, thank you for watching my videos. I know I rant a lot, talk about rubbish. 
in my live streams. But I do promise that very soon I will be making more tutorials and also the um, how to start a business series. I'll make more of those. And um, yeah, let me just get this cold over and done with so my voice feels a lot better. Oh, I'm not so tired. Excuse me. I've got these staring at me. I feel like I need to show you. Bought these from China. I bought them actually to go inside a point shoe, but for one, they were too big. <coughs> and they were too pretty. So what I'm actually going to do is um, I need to wash them and disinfect them first, but I think they're going to go on my daughter's birthday cake this year. But yeah, thank you for watching the live tonight. I just felt like I needed to um, come on, explain why I've not been doing very much. Um, I lost my bojo when I got burgled. Um, 16th of November, I'll not forget that date and um, packed everything away for Christmas. I've still got a huge box behind me full of um, bow supplies that I never got back out after Christmas. I've set up on my kitchen table rather than my living room because um, my living room's nice and tidy and I don't want to mess it up. But it echoes a little bit in this kitchen for filming and um, I've got spotlights as well which don't... The shadows, as you can see on my glasses and everything, the shadows are... Um, really bad so I might have to go film in the living room but yeah I will get around to filming pretty soon so yeah I don't know what time it is in America I'm really really sorry Isabella I don't speak I'm guessing that's Spanish I will translate it um, when I come off the live feed 7pm where are you where were you, Kenny Myers, did you say? Ohio. Yeah, it's um, nearly midnight here. So, I'm going to go to bed. Eastern time. I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm 4pm in California. I don't know anything about different time zones. Greenwich Mean Time is ours, GMT. So, it's midnight here, just about. So I'm going to go to bed, maybe do another live stream tomorrow with something exciting to actually see. Uh, what bow do I got to make tomorrow? I'm going to make a flying carpet bow. California is the earliest. Um, I'm going to make a flying carpet bow and maybe a jasmine bow. And um, I don't know if I'll do one of the swan bows on a live feed. So I might want to make a tutorial on making a swan bow. But yeah, definitely I'm going to put the link to Emma Jo Felties. If you already watched the channel, you'll already know about Emma Jo Felties. Most of my Inspired by series contains Emma Jo Felties um, masterpieces. They're beautiful. I haven't even touched that. She's cut it out herself. It's so neat and tidy. It's lovely. And the stitching on it is fantastic. So shout out to Emma Jo. Emma Archer, who comments in here, Emma Jo Felties. Shout out to you, you're fantastic. But yeah, I'm going to put a link to that in the description when I've altered it and it's all uploaded. Um, I'll put a link to the Facebook group if you're not already, go and join that. And um, if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Um, I will be uploading more soon, I promise. I just want to try and get a bit better. Um, but yeah, have a good evening, whatever you all do. If you have lost your bojo, just remember, um, step away from it, do something different, come back to it. That's what I've done, and I've uh, managed to kick out loads of bows this week. Um, yeah, I'll see you later. Thank you for watching. It is now, what are we on? Midnight, so I'm going to go. Eight to five minutes. Not bad for a live feed. I rant on, I know I do, but thank you for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.